Hi, this is Sandy Sims, and I'm here to introduce a new VCO by SDS Digital. The SDS VCO is only 3 HP, but packs a lot of great sounds for its size. And the cost of this module is low enough, you may even want more than one. The SDS VCO has a standard frequency CV and trigger gate jacks, plus a modulation jack. But it also has a built-in envelope shaper and real VCA. Getting right into the sounds of the waveforms, I've connected a sequencer to the VCO CV input. The wave knob selects one of 16 waveforms, starting with the sine wave, of course. Second, indicated by the lowest green LED, is the triangle wave, followed by a saw upward, and a saw downward. Next is a standard square wave, followed by a PWM square wave. I'll add an LFO to the mod input so you can hear the pulse width changing on the PWM square wave. This is the noise waveform at LED6, which somewhat also depends on the mod input to seed it. I'll cover that in an upcoming video. For the more exotic waveforms, there's the double sine at LED7, and the sine plus triangle at LED8. The sine is phase modulated while the triangle stands still. The first green LED with the plus 8 LED indicates waveform number 9, which is sine plus upward saw shape. And at number 10, the sine plus square combination. The sine plus PWM, if modulated, is affected as phase plus pulse width. Number 12 is a triangle plus noise. A light noise level is modulated by the mod input. The top three waveforms, 13, 14, and 15, are slots for custom-made waveforms by you. I have some waveforms already in the slots, but I'll cover how to create new waveforms shortly. Now I'll briefly cover the envelope and VCA controls. There must be a gate or trigger to start an envelope, of course. The controls are attack, decay, and release. The sustain is controlled by how long the gate input is active, and the sustain level is controlled by the decay. The shorter the decay is, the lower the level. Now let's patch an LFO into the mod input so you can hear how waveforms sound. The first five waveforms are purely phase modulated. The PWM is of course pulse width modulated. Now the noise sounds better with the mod input active. It changes also with the frequency CV input, as you can hear. With the double sign modulated, you can plainly hear the octave added. The sign and triangle sounds more caustic when modulated. While the sign and saw wave is clearly and smoothly separated. The number 10 sine wave rolling across a fixed square wave acts as a square softener of sorts. But the PWM on the sine wave creates that much sought after lead synth sound from the rave days. The triangle plus thin veil of noise sounds metallic with plus one octave setting on, but has a delicate sound. The top three custom waveforms are all phase modulated. The top custom slot, number 15, is special in that it can be recorded from an audio source. To do a record, we must enter into settings mode. To get into settings, an LED number that corresponds to what you want to set must be selected. Then the attack knob wiggles until all the LEDs flash. This is a list of settings. To record a wave into number 15, LED 7 must be selected. So select, then wiggle. Notice how there is suddenly no sound? The audio was already recorded when the attack knob passed through the center going clockwise. It's important the attack knob be left sitting right of center or the settings mode will exit and save after 6 seconds. Now to find an audio source. The mod jack becomes the audio input for recording. So turning counterclockwise arms for another record, which happens as the knob is turned past the center position, simple enough. When a sound is recorded it can be instantly heard as it will sound, so multiple tries can be tested to find the sound you're looking for. To achieve a proper sized waveform, an A note should be used. 
To achieve a more complex waveform, a higher A note should be used. Higher than A2, preferably. Chords can produce some interesting waveforms, too. To exit and save the waveform, turn the attack knob counterclockwise and wait for the 6 second timeout. There it is. You can find your new waveform at slot 15, which is both red LEDs on. Oh, and remember to disconnect the audio source. Waveforms can also be handwritten into the top three using decay and release knobs. Simply dial the wave knob to select 13, 14, or 15, then wiggle the attack knob to make a new waveform there. The release knob scrubs across the x-axis and writes whatever level is set on the decay knob, or y-axis. If the y-axis doesn't change, there will be no sound. So I'm dialing to the center of the waves, x-axis, and now bringing up the y-axis. Move over, then back down. There will be a short square wave now. Let's make it more interesting. I am zigzagging as the y-axis is written onto the x-axis. You can go back and forth, too. If you want to skip over an area, just momentarily turn the attack knob left of center to jump, and then back clockwise to continue recording. That's too fancy. So I guess I'll settle for a standard triangle-shaped wave. Notice that the LEDs show your position through the x-axis. Okay, that's boring, and there's already a triangle wave. So, back to complex again. If you just wiggle the knob, sometimes you can get some really great waveforms. Okay, and now she'll fall out to exit. And there we go. And there's our waveform. As you can hear, it's exactly where I put it. There's a VU meter flashing you might have noticed really dimly. That gives a relative envelope um, output, sort of a pseudo VU meter. The SDS VCO also has a built-in quantizer and 15 scales that can be offset using the mod CV input if selected to do so. To demonstrate the various quantization scales in the SDS VCO, I'm going to use a ramp on the frequency CV input. As can be heard, there has already been a scale active from the start of this demo. Quantization scales can be set by entering settings on LED 8, the top left LED. The attack knob is used to select the scale, but must be moved within 6 seconds or settings will exit back to normal mode. All LEDs off or scale 0 is no quantization of the CV input. Here are lists of the scales as I go through them. Seventh, Blues, my favorite, Whites and blacks is the corresponds to the keys on a piano. All white keys or all black keys, which can be useful. 
now to decide on one. As I mentioned, this selection can be offset by the mod CV input if, if that's turned on. Okay, let's use the major scale. And have a listen to it being sequenced. Another option is to set everything up one octave. This is on LED number one, that is. Select, wiggle, turn attack clockwise for plus one octave, or counterclockwise for normal. I'll leave it on. After the attack knob hasn't been moved for six seconds, the setting is saved and the mode returns to normal. After returning from a settings change, the attack, which was locked fully left, must be adjusted fully left to grab the control back. This offers some fluidity if performing as the attack is immediately set to full left once the wiggle is recognized. As you can hear, there's a lot of sound coming out of this little VCO module, and it'd make a great addition to your rack in the same way it has mine. In the next video, I'll cover CV-controlled offsets for waveform and quantized scales, as well as the other settings. Until then, I'm Sandy Sims. Keep on patching! Thank mm -hmm. you.